So what do you do when a new client pays you money? Well, I'm gonna show you the exact onboarding sequence that we use at our drop servicing agency, Growth Response, for all new clients that come into our agency. Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Anthony, and if you're an entrepreneur looking to level up your business, your skills, and your income, head below right now, hit that subscribe button. I post videos just like this every Tuesday and every Thursday. So, in this video, I'm gonna be going over step-by-step -step our exact onboarding sequence for new clients in our agency growth response. We do done-for-you LinkedIn services for B2B companies with high-ticket solutions, mainly in the technology space. So I'm gonna show you exactly how our onboarding sequence works and what happens once a client hands over money and wants us to start delivering services for them, okay? So I'm gonna keep this real simple for you guys. I have it all drafted out of my computer. I'm gonna show you all the pages and all the sequences that we use. So let's just jump right into it right now. Alrighty, so on my screen here, I have the exact step-by-step -step process that we use when we're onboarding a new client. So I'm gonna walk through each of these steps and then show you examples from our own agency on what that looks like, okay? So, step number one is the client pays for our service. They usually sign an agreement and they pay for our LinkedIn services or our cold email services, right? So that's step number one, right? Once they pay for our service, they automatically get sent to a, they get sent an automated email, like an onboarding email once they complete their payment. And in that email is a link for them to fill out an onboarding questionnaire form. Now this questionnaire form, gathers all the information that we need to deliver the service successfully for them, right? So things like who's your ideal client or the niche you're targeting? What is your actual service and how does it help to solve the problems of your market, right? What is your account access, right, for LinkedIn, right? So everything that we need to be successful and to create strong messaging campaigns, we gather that in the questionnaire form, okay? So I have a team, I have an in-house team now of like contractors that actually do like the copywriting and messaging and run the service uh, but we also, like if you are using a white label provider and you're running a drop servicing agency, you can also go to the freelancer or the white label provider and ask them what you need from the client to be successful, right? So they might tell you, oh, we need their, their Facebook ads account access or we need these types of images, right, from the client. So what you're gonna need from the client is gonna depend on what your service is. And you're only gonna know that whether you're a service provider yourself or if you're leveraging like a, a different fulfillment provider, you need to figure out what that is for your business. But you're gonna gather that in the questionnaire form, the, on, the onboarding questionnaire, okay? Now, once, once someone fills out this questionnaire, the client fills it out, it gets automatically sent to my team. That's what this T stands for, okay? The client also gets sent to a, my calendar link to schedule a kickoff call. And on that kickoff call, this is like the only part, we try to automate as much of this as possible. But the kickoff call, it's usually me or someone on my team is on this kickoff call, right? And this kickoff call helps to set expectations with the client and also get everything approved from what my team did in terms of the messaging and in terms of like creating the campaign. My team creates that and on the kickoff call, the client approves that, okay? okay? So once the client approves that, then we turn the campaign live, right? So it's a very simple onboarding process and we try to automate as much of it as possible with a tool called Zapier. If you have never heard of it, Zapier just helps multiple different apps talk to each other, right? So we have like Active Campaign, we have Slack, we use Stripe. Zapier connects all those apps in, like together so that when one thing happens on one platform, it sends it to the other platform and so on and so forth, uh, so on and so forth, okay? So once the client pays, they get sent to the questionnaire form. That, this is what this looks like. I just made a copy of our example onboarding questionnaire. And I'm just gonna show you some of the things that we ask on it, right? So things like the person's name, their company and website, their email, who's your ideal customer? What industries are you targeting? What are their job titles? How big are the companies? What are the pain points people are facing in their business or personal lives that motivate them to buy your product or service? Uh, and then we, we ask a bunch of questions. I'm not gonna read through each of these, but we ask all the questions that we need to be successful in creating them a campaign, right? So at the end here, we also ask them to, they, they need to make sure they upgrade to Sales Navigator and they need to agree to letting us run the LinkedIn campaign through their profiles, right? Again, this is gonna be all different depending on what your actual service is. So you either need to come up with these questions yourself based on what you need if you're delivering the service yourself, or if you're a drop servicing agency, you're gonna ask your white label provider or your freelancer or whoever it is that's doing the service, hey, what do I need to be successful with this service for my client, okay? And they're gonna tell you what they need. 
All right, so that's the questionnaire. Once they get, let me cross this off here. Once the client fills this out, right, it gets sent to my team. So I have a Slack channel here and we have different channels for different things. You can see like prospecting, positive replies, negative replies, different channels, LinkedIn, cold email, so on and so forth. Uh, but we have one here for client onboarding, right? So whenever someone fills out in a questionnaire, a client fills out a questionnaire, it gets automatically sent to here. And I'm not gonna go into it because it has the actual client information in here, but the actual questions or the answers from these questions are going to be sent in a PDF form to this channel here, okay? Once my team receives that, they then send it off to like, a, there's, there's a project manager in here that helps me out. They send it out to our copywriter, they send it out to our campaign manager, our account manager, and they get the campaign created before the kickoff call with the client, okay? So what does the client see? Well, let me cross this off. You just saw the team part, right? The client sees my calendar to schedule a kickoff call. So this is Calendly.com, it's just a simple, it's a simple um, calendar app that connects to your calendar, right? And it allows them to schedule time. So all the client does is they'll click on a date, they'll schedule a time here, right? And on this call, they click confirm, they put their name, email, company, and on this call, we show them the actual messaging that we created for them, that my team created for them for their, their LinkedIn campaign, okay? So what do we do here? We, the client paid and they, they, they signed an agreement they automatically got sent to the questionnaire form, right? That's this here. The client fills out the questionnaire form that gets sent to my team and they create the messaging, they create the campaign for the client. The client then jumps on a kickoff call with me or someone on my team and they approve the messaging that was created from my team, right? And once they approve that, the client approves that, we turn their campaign live. So all we're doing is we're we're connecting with people on their behalf, we're starting conversations on their behalf on LinkedIn, and we're gener generating them leads and appointments and ultimately new clients for their business using LinkedIn and cold email, okay? This is how our, our new client onboarding process works. It's very simple. It's a lot of people just like to overcomplicate it. They like to make all these different steps, but all we really need, all we're trying to do is really set the expectation with the client of how this whole process is gonna work and also establish a good relationship with them and get everything that we need in order to be successful in delivering the service for the client, right? And that's what this does here. They sign, they pay, they fill out a questionnaire, it gets sent to my team so we can work on the campaign and then we have a kickoff call to turn the campaign live, all right? So guys, this is a question that came up many different times in the past couple weeks. How do you onboard clients? Like how do you actually, what happens once a client pays? How do you fulfill the service? Well, this is how we do it, right? You're either gonna have a team that does this for you, or you're gonna have a white label provider, or you're gonna have to send them the questionnaire or the information that they need to actually deliver the service, okay? So that's it for this video. That's our new client onboarding process for our agency, Growth Response. I just showed you each step in the process. It doesn't need to be more complex than that. The main thing is that you set expectations with the client and you make sure you get everything you need to deliver them an amazing result, okay? So let me know if you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any questions below. Comment with any questions that you have. Make sure you like this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.